Welcome to another session from LearnHowToReason.com. And this is day five in our Reason 7 in 7 minutes in 7 days. And oh boy, this is going to be a good one. Because external MIDI is here now in Reason 7. Awesome. Well, I have some bad news though. I don't have an, uh, a hardware synthesizer. But that might be a bummer to you guys out there who are just, you know, hardware synthesizer geeks, you know, who just love those hardware synthesizers. I'm a software-based synthesizer guy. So I guess I'll just have to use contact. So let's get going. Let me show you how easy this is. I'm going to press F8. And I'm going to make a external... Uh, MIDI device. Then I'm going to open up my contact 5 and I have it opened up already. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go up here to MIDI channel and I'm going to select contact 5 virtual input. This is a virtual MIDI wire within the software. I'm going to select channel 1. I can get out of that. I'm going to go right here to this. I'm a, you know, I'm going to select contact 5 virtual input. And then I'm going to play. So I'm playing Contact 5. Is this awesome or what? It's one of my favorite pianos. So now, well, maybe I want to record this. Okay. Now, this is one thing you're going to have to do. You're going to have to go and download and install the free Soundflower uh, software. It's, it's made by Soundflower. Search it in Google. Download it. You can get it for Mac or Windows. Download it. And... You have your two channel, two in and out, Soundflower uh, uh, audio, software audio cables, if you will. Okay, so you have that installed. So I have contact here and I can play it and everything. So, but wait, maybe I want to record, record it and, uh, you know, have, let's, let's, let's get in a, uh, um, a little, Some drums, I'll make a quick little beat here. So, you know, you can, you can um, have tons of tracks with Reason devices all you want, no problem. And I just want to get this drum going so you can uh, see that I have... There we go. And it's run enabled. Okay, so I can get myself a little loop here and I can play this and record it. So I just enable it right here. Okay, so I just recorded that and I can play it back. So I'm recording MIDI that is playing my external MIDI device, which is a software, the software contact. Now, well, I want to record this into audio. Ah, it's not hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, audio track right there. Go right in here to audio. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I got to go into contact. Go up here, preferences, 
and I choose my, oh, sorry, I choose my Soundflower um, virtual hardware, get out of here, get in Reason, go to Reason, Preferences, and then I select that Soundflower 2 virtual um, hardware. Then I go to Advanced, and I just want to make sure that the Contact 5 virtual port is selected here. X out of there. I'm going to go up to Options, and I'm going to, I'm going to select Send MIDI Clock. And then I can just, oh, sorry. I'm going to go in here and select Stereo. So I get the stereo signal. And uh, I'm going to solo just, the, just what I want this audio channel to record. Because if I don't solo this, then it's going to pick up the, the redrum too. OK, so now I'm just going to press record. And you don't hear anything, but it is recording it. Let it record. So we have it recorded. Now we just go back into Reason, go to Preferences, our, our audio, and just go back to our um, the, the sound card we were using. And uh, let me see here. Let's go back. And now we can mute this one. You know, we're not going to be using contact now, so we can mute it and we can uh, play what we recorded to audio. Is that awesome? It's, it's pretty freaking cool. But let me show you even more. So let's minimize this. Here we have one channel. And uh, we're using the, the contact. I got the Alicia's keys in here. So you might be somebody who has contact player and has just myriads of instruments. So let's go in here and let's use uh, the monster, for instance. And um, let's minimize this. Okay. Uh, and then let's, um, we can take this and go out to input. We have, we have 16 um, outputs or inputs we can use here. So virtual input two. And maybe I want to add in this sound too. And I could have it on a separate one if I want, or I can combine it all on, an, on, on two. And I'm going to go back here to preferences so I can hear, you know, play it and hear it. And... Uh, and in reason, we should be okay. So I go over here to the, the, um, the external MIDI device, and I'm going to go, I want to play MIDI channel two. Listen. So if I want to, so the whole thing here is this. You can go from virtual port input or virtual five uh, input here, this corresponds to any channel you have going here on the virtual input. So if you take a look at this, you can have you can have 16 you could have 16 separate instruments or as many as your computer can handle. You could have you know some of them playing at the same time or 16 individuals in contact. And then here in Reason, you could have 16 individual external MIDI instruments. And then you just, you assign them each to their own MIDI channel. And, and you can record, you know, each, each one as you please. Uh, if you have 16 of them here, you're just going to record, play the one you want to play. You click on and you record it. It's that simple. And, and then when you want to render, you just change your contact output. You know, it's, it's audio output to be 
the sound flower uh, two, and then in reason, you select to uh, the audio device as your sound flower two. And then on your audio tracks or the ch all the audio tracks that you want to do, you select, you know, stereo or mono, however you want to do it, of the, the sound flower. And then you just record it. You press record. And your MIDI will play onto the channel. It's that simple. So we now have external MIDI instruments, and this includes contact. You could buy contact premium platinum and have all those instruments. You can buy them individual. This unlocks contact and all of native instruments amazing instruments for use in reason how cool is that so i hope this helps you guys out i know it helped me out and i'm stoked i'm going to be buying some more contact instruments uh because i love native instruments uh instruments and i'll be doing some more videos showing you uh, how to use this external midi instrument on other software. So I hope you uh, enjoyed this and it helps you out and you're as, as pumped as I am about this. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Uh, you guys take care.